Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Pythagoras now. And uh, I'm just going to give another very, very short example. Um, let's just imagine that that is 3 and that is 7. What's that? Well, if we look at Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared equals, well that one's a there, 9, 3, 3 to 9, plus 49. So c squared is 49 plus 9, 8 down, 1 to carry 148. So c squared equals from here 148. So c is the square root of 148, which is, calculator, uh, 148 square root. Oh, there it is. Bunk. 12.165, or 12.16, call it. 12.17, I guess. There you go. So it works. Um, but in this case, c equals, what was it, 12.17, approximately. Uh, just making the observation that they don't, in fact, usually a right angle triangle doesn't have all integers. So uh, sometimes you have uh, fractional sides like this and quite, quite often they're quite, quite confusing things. Okay, I'll stop there.